Oh, howdy y'all. Grab yourself a drink. It is time for some RNG divination cards. It is that time of the league where we're going to go a little bit silly. Turning in one of the new divination cards that was added this league. This is the Shepherd Sandals. And this is a divination card for two implicit corrupted unique boots. So it can be any of the unique boots in the game that are drop anywhere uniques. It won't drop something that is boss specific. So this can't give you the Maven's unique boots. However, it can drop any of the uniques that will drop in the core game. Anyways, we have 137 sets of these, which is useless information, 173rd of the way to 10,001. Picked up all of these in trade, cost me about 11 divine orbs for the lot of them. Uh, Shepherd Sandals, so let's start. First one, we got Inya's Epiphany with plus two curses and 223 armor while stationary. Inya's Epiphany used to be tier one rarity unique. I do not think it is anymore. Gang's Momentum, this is very common. A plus one to the level of all socketed gems would be good on a different set of boots, but not on that one. Uh, Chevron's Pace is one of those items that used to be okay, not so much anymore. Plus one socketed gems again, which is a good corrupt. And then we got Regen Life while moving. Uh, Sintrek is a very, very good set of boots. Uh, one drawback to this being corrupted though, is that this is an item that is very sensitive to Divine Orb rolls. What on earth? Uh, not that you would actually apply Divine Orbs to them in this economy, but uh, wow, that's actually a really nuts roll on that Sintrek. Um, that's something genuinely special there. So plus two to the level of Socketed Minion Gems is likely a bit of a brick stat, but 4% maximum energy shield is actually really good on these. And this is actually a real hit. Like this is something that is a genuinely very, very, very good set of boots. Trap and Mines, Armour and Stationary. These, these boots just don't stack up that well in Endgame unfortunately. Um, they just can't compete with some of the other stuff that's available. And that's going to be a common problem, really. Uh, now, this is an interesting set of boots in that this is tremendously sensitive to the specific rolls on it. Uh, generally speaking, Storm Charge is not good. If you get good rolls, and this is after the 319 overhaul, then this set of boots can be good. This one has above average, but not extraordinary rolls. The rolls that matter are 26 movement speed, which is on a scale from 1 to 40 and 36 increased effective shock, which is on a scale from 1 to 50. So we got 26 and 36. Both of these are above average, but you need them to be extraordinarily above average for this item to be good. And this just isn't it. Torchoak Step with maximum endurance charges. This is an item that would have once been good. Uh, that was during patch 3.15. That was when there was a very, very strong build revolving around the interaction of Totems and Forbidden Right. I don't think that there's any real setup that wants to use Torchoak at Step at the moment. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am on that. Uh, Dark Ray Vectors with plus four to, ooh. It's hard to use that plus four well. Um, I'm gonna keep that one aside as a potentially maybe quite good item, although I don't see it. This is something where plus one maximum Frenzy is really good, although that's a legacy crop now. It's plus one maximum Endurance you get instead. Um, so that was the legacy corrupt on those that was really valuable. That was only available uh, up to 3.2 from memory. How well is this roll just in general? Um, reasonably solid. Like the fact that you've got two overlapping skill gem boosts of plus two has some potential. Like someone may want that, but it's not going to be something that's universal appeal. Wake of Destruction, Haste and Max Endurance Charges. So Max Endurance Charges is a bit of a waste to get on these boots that no one really wants. And Grads Level 21 Haste skill, despite Haste getting buffed, it's just not very useful having it on boots. A Blood Dance with a Maximum Endurance Charge is actually... This is a, one of the better sets of boots around. This one, again, wanted the Legacy Corrupt for Frenzy Charges instead. Still, though, this is... Well, it's got one very good Corrupt on it. What else have we got? Regen 100 life per second while moving is a bit of a brick. Eh, it's nothing special. It's all right. Uh, what do we have here? Storm Charger again with... Only, oh yeah, with not very good rolls. So 25 is a reasonable roll on move speed, but you really want at least sort of 33 or better. Effective Lightning Ailments roll is Derisory at 13. So this is a brick despite having, you know, a reasonably good corrupt on it. Three step assault generally doesn't get used and these corrupts aren't gonna help it. It's one of those items that's sort of reasonable at the start of the league, but just doesn't hold up very well over time. Anyways, we will deposit the ones that we consider to be underwhelming here, and we will deposit the ones that we consider to be uh, at least sort of okay there, 
and then we'll go and get more of these sandals out. One of these sandals cards at 12 at a time because that's as many as we can fit into the inventory and we'll get back to it. Uh, Gang's Momentum, bleh. Torchoke Step again, kind of bleh. Deerstalker is genuinely used, nah, not with these mods. Deerstalker's reason for being used and what you want to see on this is plus two to the level of multiple gems. Um, this is used in conjunction with Exsanguinate as a trap. So Exsanguinate, which then becomes a trap support because of Socrates Gems is supported by a level 15 trap. Uh, so if you can get anything that makes Exsanguinate better, that tends to be good. Wanderlust. It is required level 24, unfortunately, because of those corruptions, and that makes the item worse than it would otherwise be. No one wants this in endgame. Uh, it's very solid leveling, but it's less available while leveling because of those mods. Sundance, plus one and six percent life are good corrupts, but unfortunately, this is just not a set of boots that anyone wants. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because there's a bunch of interest in ascertaining the rarities of the various unique items, uh, which got scrambled by 319. And so one of the things we want to do is get some data on how many drop with 137 that, are, that I'll be generating, 137 random uniques. That's something that may help with that. Plus two socketed war cry gems is useless. Plus two to second of projectile gems is basically, well, is it useless or is it in conjunction with, okay, so hear me out. This might be a bit of a meme here, but this is plus seven to the level of any native mine gem that is a projectile, which I think might just be the ice version and no, I mean, um, pyroclast as well. So there's, what's it called? There's that one of the mines that people use a lot in um, early game is one of the native mine skills. Anyway, I need to investigate whether this has any use just as a plus seven to that specific spell mine. I don't think it is, but it's just something that's a bit funny and different. There's three to five to the level of socketed aura gems. I will just check that actually. I can buy that specific item off her. So it was not one of those. No, it seems like they're all blue gems. Uh, Stormblast Mine is not projectile. Icicle Mine is projectile and it is aura. So this is projectile tag, this is aura tag. This would get plus seven in this set of March of the Legion. Now, if instead of being plus seven, that was plus nine, I would be tempted to use it. I'd at least be tempted to play around with it and see if that could be made to work, completely ignoring all of the blessing effects there. And there's also another version of that as well. Uh, I kind of think it's Pyroclast Mine, is it? Yeah, Pyroclast Mine. Oh, that's actually high level. So this is also Projectile and this is also Aura. The other thing that's really interesting with these is that when you get their gem levels extremely high, the mines add a tremendous amount of fire damage to hits against enemies near it. I have a feeling that, that scales really high and I just want to check that to be certain. You would want to use Divergent Pyroclast Mine for this. Uh, that is zero to 20% increased effect of aura. The amount of damage that is added scales reasonably aggressively with gem number. Yes, it does. So that's a, that's a silly possibility there. Alrighty, what else do we have here? We've got, um, we will now go back to turning these in. Uh, the one that I had in the window will stay in the window, if anyone was wondering about that. Gnomic Storm, doesn't matter what that is, it's going to be rubbish. Chevron's Pace, Projectile and Curse. Is there anything at all that has Projectile and Curse tags on it? Even if there is, would you want to use Chevron's Pace? That's the question. Like, it's not derisory as an item. Uh, it's just that it's from an era of the game where level 30, where 35% movement speed wasn't otherwise available. I'm just going to leave that one aside as a maybe. Uh, Gang's Momentum is unfortunately pretty much always going to be a brick. Gang's Momentum is pretty much always going to be a brick, unfortunately. Uh, Storm Charger is again, oh, this is a terrible roll on this. Uh, so this has got 6% move speed, 7% effective lightning ailments. One of the things with this item that's interesting is that you can vendor three of them if they're not corrupted to get back a random one. It's like applying a divine orb to one of them. And that's something that is generally useful with it, but uh, maybe not in this case. 
Curse, Trap, and Mine. I don't think there's anything that can take advantage of both of those. And also, of course, it is Nomic Storm, which is not one of the better sets of boots in the game. So we're going to consider all of these to be misses with the possible exception of this Chevron's Pace. I don't know that that's any good, but I'm gonna say it maybe has some chance, whereas none of the others do. All right, let's get another 12 and we will to turn them in. Sundance with plus one socketed and some energy shield. Don't think that's enough to make this usable. Uh, no, I have not had a Skyforth yet. Yeah, I picked it up just before you said it. I was just trying to work it out and then um, finally figured it out. The best thing I've had was a very good Corrupt on a Simtrek. It had like outstanding explicit rolls on it as well. That's the best thing so far. This is only the 26th set though. 29% uh, move speed, 36% uh, ailments is pretty good. Socketed projectiles, not so hot. I don't think that's a, an overall package. Uh, oh, Deerstalker. No, Aura is a brick. Nah, that doesn't get there. That doesn't get there. That had potential. Uh, as soon as I saw plus one and plus two, I was like, oh, this could be really, really good. Uh, then I realized that it's not. Uh, it needs, for this to be really good, it would need to have something that synergizes with a skill people play with traps. And no Aura gems are going to do that that I can think of. Unless there's something I'm not thinking of. I, Smite is an unusual skill that's tagged with an Aura. It doesn't work in this case. I just wonder if there's anything like that. But had that been, yeah, plus two AoE instead, that would have been really, really good. Or plus two projectiles would have been really good because of Exsanguinate. Uh, that would actually have been much better. There's a lot of things it could be that would be solid. Uh, Sundance, again, not something that people really want. I mean, I guess it is, it is a rarity item, which does help at the moment. And, like, that's pretty much Divine Perfect. It's only plus one. I'm kind of going to put that one aside just because it's Divine Perfect on the rarity and it has a couple of good mods on it. Uh, good corrupts on a base that just doesn't work that well beyond um, like beyond the mid game. This, is a, this would be a very good set of boots for someone that was just getting to end game. The thing is that those people aren't rich and they can't pay for something that's you know, maybe not quite one of a kind, but close. Uh, increased energy shield and evasion while moving, also very good. This is a sacred perfect roll. Uh, how good is the... And it's got the worst possible energy shield explicit mod on it. Uh, that kind of wrecks this. This Sintrek is still okay. It's still going to go in the good items category, but it's just not what you would term great. Um, evasion rating while moving is actually a real mod on Sintrek though. So, the, like, just by, because of the sorts of builds that would use it. So, it's not... It, this is not a brick or anything like it, but it's not as good as the other Sintrek. A Goldworm with plus four to Auras. Wow, that has a lot of potential. What are the rolls on this? And it's perfect quantity. This is a real item. This is the first real item we've got, I think. The very niche situation and quantity... This would have been so much better in some past leagues. Like, what you want is someone that is looking to run, um, someone that's looking to run a bit of an unusual Aurobot color hybrid. There's real potential for this, and this will be best in slot for them. This will be, this will be the best Goldworm on the server for that narrow niche, and for that reason, that is going to be expensive. Um, that's genuinely expensive. It might not sell, but it's the sort of thing that someone might pay a fair bit for. Bones of Ula. Uh, I think that's the first Bones of Ula we've had. Anyways, uh, this has got um, nothing of note on it. I can just go straight into the underwhelming section. So a plus one, plus two, but unfortunately not the plus one, plus two you want to see on this item. Socket of Warcry Gems is just not going to have any synergy there, so that's an unfortunate one. Sintrek, uh, so just a recap of what we've got that's been interesting. Sintrek, extraordinarily well rolled. So this is... Average on the Sacred Orb, perfect on the Divine Orb for the Energy Shield, and then it has more Energy Shield on it. Uh, plus two to level of Socket of Minion Gems is probably a waste of space, but this is still quite a lot better than a well-rolled normal Sintrek. We got the Dark Ray Vectors with plus two AoE and Trap or Mine. 
that's something that's a little bit niche, but that if someone wants that combination, it's gonna be good for them. Uh, Chevron's Pace with, I, I don't know if this has got a use or not. I can't think of one. Socketed a projectile and curse gem. I, I can't think of one, but if there is one that I'm not thinking of, it's gonna be reasonably good for it. Uh, there was the other Sin Trek and there was this Sundance. Uh, where's the... Oh yeah, there it is, the AOE and Aura. Okay, uh, let's trade in some more Divination cards. Stormcharger with a bad set of base rolls and bad crops. That one's in the in the dumpster. Sintrek, yeah, just that's just pretty ordinary, that Sintrek. Uh, Dusktoe with duration and projectiles. Does anyone want this? I'm gonna put that aside as a, that's a maybe. Ma oh yeah, we had a good March of the Legion. That's what I needed to find. Pyroclast Mine is the use for that. Um, niche, but it might just be good. March of the Legion has definitely been made more common. Uh, this March of the Legion, however, is a pile of rubbish and will end up going in the dumpster tier section. Deerstalker, oh, oh wow. Um, that is a perfect set of exsanguinate boots. That is actually really, really good. So that goes in the good pile. Uh, this is perfect for exsanguinate traps. This is gonna give plus three because exsanguinate has a duration and it is of course a socketed gem. So that's gonna give plus three to the level of socketed exsanguinate, which is then gonna be converted into a trap. This is actually going to be genuinely expensive, I think. Need to see if there's any more of them on the market, but that looks like something that could be very, very, very good. Goldworm, um, trap or mine gems and movement speed, not as good a quantity roll, that's not gonna be a hit. Darkray Vectors with projectile gems, nah, it's not a hit. Uh, someone might want it, but it's not great. Oberon's Warpath, with suppression is always a very good implicit. Uh, unfortunately, nothing else on that is good, so that's uh, that's a brick. Wanderlust with nothing. Uh, what's the level on it? 48, yeah, that, that makes it trash. Uh, Gang's Momentum with good corruptions, but unfortunately it's Gang's Momentum. Uh, is an item that no one really ever particularly uses. Uh, it just doesn't do quite enough. It's not absolutely derisory, but even with pretty good implicits on it, I don't see that being used. Wanderlust with, uh, yeah, unfortunately again, it's a high, uh, high minimum level. Good item, but uh, not good enough. Uh, Goldworm is not 20% and not great. Uh, what have I done with, I've moved something around, have I? Oh, it's all right. Um, so you're the only one that was genuinely good in that lot and you can all fill up this package first and then overflow into Sandals 2 tab. Then we're gonna go back to the Divination Card tab and grab ourselves some more sandals. I don't like sandals, they're coarse, rough and irritating and they get everywhere. Okay, so now we will go back to Lily Roth and we will trade Divination Cards again. Deerstalker, and it's a brick. Sundance, and I think every Sundance is gonna be a brick. Bones of Ula with genuinely good corrupts, but uh, yeah, it's still Bones of Ula. Uh, Rainbow Stride. Rainbow Stride with like a good amount of suppression on it. Um, how good do we consider this? I kind of feel like there's gonna be something that can use that Minion Gems mod on it. Rainbow Stride is one of the rarer of the boots as well. Um, AoE and Warcry. Does anyone really use Warcries at all at the moment? That RA, oh well. If, no, I, d I just don't think that's a hit. Even with it being plus four to something. Ah, plus four to projectile auras again. Unfortunately, it's only 14% quantity. I don't think this is quite great, but this is something. Uh, again, this is those two projectile mines. Those two mines that are that have aura mods and that also have uh, all the other stuff on them. You could you could conceivably use this on one of those. Um, 
You could simply use this on an aura support in conjunction with an empower and a pyroclast mine where the pyroclast mine is there to provide extra damage and can also do culling for you as well. So there is a potential utility. I can see a use case for this. I just don't know if anyone cares about that use case. But there is a definite use case for it. And this is one of those unfortunate cases where you get outstanding implicits. Like this is two of the best implicits around and we get them alongside 3% increased movement speed. So it's one of the worst divine orb rolls you can get on these boots. Uh, unfortunately, they are ruined despite the outstanding implicits on them. Uh, Curse, Trap and Mine don't have any real synergy there. Not a good set of boots anyway. We are turning in 137, so 173rd of 10,001 of the Shepherd's Sandals. Dusk Toe. Again, I think this just suffers from being a Dusk Toe. Uh, it's reasonably good implicits potentially, but uh, it's a Dusk Toe. Um, okay, Trap and Mine Gems is actually not as good as it sounds. Because Socket of Gems is supported by traps, that's just going to have no real synergy with the item that it's on. 6% life is nice, but uh, not in a case where you've got an implicit that's nothing. Corpse Walker, this one of the rarer sets of boots. Duration and War Cry. Does anyone care about that combination of mods? If they do, this is the only one available, so I, that's something to price high and probably not sell, but maybe it moves. Wonder Trap with bad implicits is a brick, unfortunately. So let's go and deposit the ones that are definite trash or definitely mediocre. And then the ones that might have some corner use case can go here. Um, again, yeah, projectile and aura just for that silly synergy with the uh, with Pyroclast Mine. Most, mostly Pyroclast Mine more than anything else. Uh, although that's what you want to see on March of the Legion. I think I bricked that um, Snapchat. I think I have bricked slash profile. Um, I have done a number of upgrades lately on the character, although I haven't tried to make it particularly strong. I still need to fix my weapon. Uh, weapon was something that was like a work in progress when I had a small amount of currency. And so I just got it into a spot that was good enough to use and then forgot about it. And now I've got a fair bit of currency. Like, you know, I can happily throw away 11 divines on a, on a bit of a gamble. And while I was doing that, I just never really got around to upgrading the weapon or the shield for that matter. Shield's rubbish. Okay, so we got a Wonder Trap with nothing on it. Uh, that's just a brick. Oh, uh, actually, no, Wonder Trap's alright. I mean, it's, it's got that rarity mod on it when you're at low life. Um, like, yeah, this is... It's just 10 to 25% movement speed is meh. And then Omic Storm has uh, nothing on it. Implicits are bad. Well... Suppression is good, but the Warcry gems... I don't, see, I don't see anyone wanting that. Wanderlust, unfortunately, with a high minimum level, is a brick. Yeah, so the reason that they get boosted to 48 sometimes is if they have one of the corrupts that requires the item to be level 60 or above, uh, the minimum levels on items are equal to whichever is greater, the minimum level of the base item, or the minimum... or, sorry, four-fifths of the minimum level of the highest mod that's on them. And so with this Wanderlust, Grant's level 21 haste skill is presumably a level 55 corrupt. 6% uh, increased maximum energy shield is level 1. And so the base overall is whichever is higher, the wool, wool shoes base, which is quite low, or that mod. And that mod ends up basically bricking the item as a result. Torch Oak with, uh, yeah, there's nothing that's a trap mine, a trap and mine and a war cry. So that would be, like, the implicits don't work together and they don't work with the base. That's a brick. Rainbow Stride with good mods on it and a 16% um, roll. Yeah, that's that's actually quite good. Rainbow Stride's a good item. Um, AoE and Warcry. This is middle tier on the energy shield. Would anyone want to use any Warcrys at all with Sintrek? Ah... Uh... Yeah, I could see someone using Enduring Cry. Like, the use case for this set of boots here is you are using a Skin of the Lords that grants you instant war cries, and you want to left-click your um, Enduring Cry. That's the use case for this, and it is genuinely good in that use case. So, that is not a bad set of boots. It's, like, it's not 
great, but it has a definite use case. Um, three step assault is generally pretty mediocre by the time you can equip it. It's never a bad set of boots, it's just never quite good enough. Three step assault is generally a pretty bad set of boots by the time you can equip it. It's never quite good enough. Uh, duration and curse though is actually a good combination. Like I could use that with Bane. Um, like this is four link for Bane. How good is this with Bane do we reckon? This is like, this is better than early league gear with Bane. Um, but it's probably not excellent endgame gear either. I'm going to put it aside as just that bit better than a lot of the rest without being great. Gang's momentum, uh, plus four, but there's nothing that it's plus four to. Nomic Storm with good mods, but a very, very good implicit actually on that. But unfortunately, it's still Nomic Storm. And Nomic Storm's 15% increased damage taken while on full energy shield is really, really, really uh, runs counter to the plus one max endurance charges. Unfortunately, that's a wake of destruction and haste skill is a bit dubious. Um, hey, we've been saying something about Nomic Storm in general, uh, about it not being a very good set of boots, so I might just go and put these ones away. So let's go and turn in some more of them. Sundance, yeah, no one cares. Wake of Destruction with nothing. March of the Legion. So March of the Legion's been interesting just by virtue of getting the potential. There is a potential for this turn in to give us a plus five March of the Legion with plus two and plus two to things that both affect the auras that, um, like the mines that are natively in aura. So this is Pirate Class Mine and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see if that happens. I don't think we will. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, socketed AOE gems. I, the armor when stationary and evasion while moving mods are pretty dubious most of the time. They're not completely worthless, but I'm oh, trying to throw me off. Yeah, that's a Nomic Storm, unfortunately. Doesn't really matter that much what the mods are on it. Um, okay, so we got Trap and Mind Gems and Evasion Rating while moving. Nothing really on this either. That one can just go into the Underwhelming and soon-to-be-forgotten pile. This one here is quite funny in that it's got 10% movement speed, so it's got the premium version of that. And unfortunately, the base movement speed on the item is terrible. If you got that corrupt on a 40% one, that would be spectacular. Spectacular, spectacular. Socket Minion Gems, Armour when Stationary, yeah, that can just get forgotten about. These are actually quite rare, I think. Line Eyes Paws. I don't think these come up very much at all. I think they're quite a rare item. I think that's the first set of Line Eyes Paws I've had. Haven't had a Skyforth either. Uh, Trouble Mind Gems, Evasion Rating While Moving, nothing. Note, I was on a three step as well. Dark Ray Vectors with, um, eh. Dark Ray Vectors, if they got good corrupts, there's, there's something people can use, but um, that was a disappointing set. Wake of Destruction with like reasonable implicits, but not good enough to make Wake of Destruction good. So unfortunately this is 12 in a row with nothing particularly inspiring or exciting at all. And we shall go back and get ourselves more of these. Obligatory. I don't like sandals. They're coarse, rough, and irritating, and they get everywhere. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Torchoke is pretty much always going to be garbage now because it's not 315. Um, Gang's momentum is pretty much always going to be garbage because it's not 2013, uh, when that item would have been good. Wonder Trap, again, it has some potential just by virtue of being one of those items, like Rarity just being good at the moment, but it's not good enough, I don't think. Dusk Toe with good survivability mods on it. Does anyone want this? I think the answer is not quite. I think the answer is that this is not quite good enough. Um, Torchoke is Duration Gems and Spell Suppression. Uh, those are good implicits on it. 
I just don't think anyone cares about it. How well rolled is this item? Uh, pretty much bottom tier for Divine Orb stats, so nah. Line Eyes Pause again. Duration Gems. I'm just kind of curious. Level 5 Rain of Arrows when you attack with a bow. I'm just not sure. I haven't played with this item in a while. I think it got overhauled some time ago. I don't think it's very good. Uh, but I do think it's one of the rarer things. Victoria's Flight, this is the first one of these I've had, I think. So it must be quite a bit rarer than I was thinking. It used to be uh, used to be a tier 5 rarity unique. So one of the most common. Uh, it doesn't have anything good on it. Dusk Toe with nothing. So that is, uh, that is again, nothing. Uh, much the Legion with... Ooh. Is there anything that's a minion and an aura simultaneously? Uh, if there's anything that's a minion and an aura and that is worthwhile, then this has some real potential. Yeah, it's not an aura. Oh, well, that's a pity. Skater Boys, you say? Let's just check the deal with Skater Boys. So they're minions and auras. Uh, purchase, and uh, we'll just check. So that is minion and aura. So that gets everything. Uh, the thing is that it doesn't gain very much from levels. I'm just trying to think if there's any corner case minions. I think, you know what I think this is? This item is a perfect example of something that may not have a use case now. Um, my attitude towards a March of the Legion like this is that there might be someone that wants this because they're a standard player and they're a standard speculator. So they're the sort of person who wants to build up a serious long-term wealth base in standard, but they also play the temporary leagues to do that. That is the sort of player that might want to buy this March of the Legion as a speculative buy. If in the future there was to be a minion that was revealed that had an aura built into it. So let's say if you had um, something like Skitterbots, but it was dealing damage instead, or if you had, say, if Summon Reaper had an aura around it or something like that, at that point, this March of the Legion could suddenly be worth quite a bit. And there are people who will sometimes buy things on that basis. For that reason, even though this is currently of no use, I'm going to put that in the, um, in the pile of stuff that's more at the special end, despite it currently being purely speculative buy for someone. Terrible Implicit, so terrible item. Goldworm is potentially reasonably good. Uh, it's reasonably well rolled, but... Haste and plus two to socketed auras don't really go together very well. AoE Warcry. Again, we've got another one of these examples where you've got AoE and Warcry. So plus four to the level of a Warcry. Um, this is niche. This is very niche. But I'm going to put it in the better section just in case someone wants to use Goldworm in conjunction with a character that wants to use a skin of the lords to grab instant warcry or that just happens to be near instant warcry that sort of player may conceivably want to use that it's it's pretty niche but it's something that could be of use it could be perfect for someone and if you've got something that could be perfect for someone you tend to price it pretty high because you don't mind if you've got 10 of those items you'd rather sell one of them to the person that's perfect for and not sell the other nine than sell all of them uh, Siobhan's Pace, Minion and Warcry, I don't see that being useful though. Uh, AoE Gems, Suppression, unfortunately it's level 36, that kind of wrecks the item. Three Step Assault with AoE and Minions, uh, again, just don't see a Minion build, even if their uh, Minions are AoE, wanting that. Aura and Warcry don't go together, and that's, yeah, that's a brick. Um, much of the Legion with Socketed Warcry. Nah, that's a brick, unfortunately. Much of the Legion, definitely a lot more common than it used to be. We already knew that, but it's really clear from this turn in. Uh, it was the same rarity as Skyforth in the past. We haven't had a single Skyforth yet. Uh, Deerstalker, again, we've got that plus two to the level of trap or mind skills that sounds really good, but is actually a trap. 8% um, increased movement speed. However, I am going to consider this to be a good drop. Not because it has any utility to equip, but because someone might buy it, not realizing that that plus two to the level of socketed trap and mind skills isn't very good. And I have seen that happen a few times before, where an item that shouldn't be very good sells for a fair bit because of that. That's a brick. 
Uh, Sintrek with Minion and Trap and Mind Gems. Don't really have any synergy together, and... Uh, I mean, um, Skitterbots, I think, are a Trap Gem, and they're definitely a Minion Gem. So, but getting plus four levels on Skitterbots doesn't matter. How well rolled is this Sintrek? That's the other question. Um, adequate, not exceptional. So the thing with Skyforth is that they've historically been tier two rarity, um, but they are o they were only available from level eighty four and up monsters. So they're drop res they're drop restricted level eighty four, which is something that's unusual. In fact, they're the only item with a drop restriction that high. So they're actually quite a bit more common than things like Rizlatha's Coil that were tier one uniques at least in the past. Uh, we don't know their current rarity. Uh, Windscream is pretty rare too. This is the first Windscream we've had. I feel like Windscream was Skyforth rarity in the past. Um, now this is something that is middling power level and doesn't yeah it doesn't really add much. Like this the set of boots the base boots are pretty good, but nothing really is added to it by the corruptions, so that's nothing special. We're starting to see more Lion Eyes Paws now, and that's actually a reasonably good one. If someone wants Lion Eyes Paws, that one's pretty solid. Uh, Curse and Warcry, no real synergy there, and that is unfortunately a bit of a brick. So let's go and drop these off. Um, so these two were at the better end, mostly because I had one really good implicit and uh, still fairly solid, and are on a fairly solid base. These were all meh. Okay, AoE gems, trap and mind gems. This is something with a lot of potential, except it's not the best base set of boots, but I just feel like someone might use this, uh, just by virtue of being plus four to a skill. Curse gems, suppression, that's actually reasonable without being great. Wake of destruction, minion, war cry, no synergy. Um, I just realized I put that in a bad spot there, haven't I? Uh, yeah, that's just trash. That's complete trash. Why am I even thinking about that? Duration AOE. There's a lot of, um, a lot of potential there. That's just really universal as a plus four. So it could be pretty good. Uh, that's just trash. Gangs momentum, not very good in the best times. Um, plus one socketed gems and suppression that just feels like it's above average just because the implicits are so strong and dusk toe is solid enough uh, duration and uh, that's just got nothing on it bad base nothing on it bad base nothing on it again that's the trap of mind gems trap uh, completely useless we did get one set of extraordinary exsanguinate ones though um, okay, so that's trash as well. So we have eight trash in this slot and four marginal. And the four marginals go in. So I'm putting anything that I think is has some potential to be really good on the right. The left hand side is the marginals and the first three tabs are the junk. Hey, we're gonna finish soon. This is the second last slot then after that. It's time to go and join the Argus Kicking ex Expedition. Torchoke, nothing particularly great anymore. They've they've had better days, those boots. Torchoke, they've had better days, those boots. Uh, Storm Charger with um, uh, terrible, terrible explicits. AoE and Auras, so that's plus seven to the level of Auras. Uh, Snapchat, yes you can now. Seven League is on the general loot table. I think it's tier one rarity now though. There's a bit of suspicion that it might be tier one. It might be tier two. We can't really tell for sure. No one's done like a thousand sets of um, a thousand sets of any of the of unique boots yet. And even then that's not even necessarily gonna get you there. That's like at the better end of Lion Eyes Paws. I think this one's just 
Well, maybe that is too. Lino's pause is just still good enough to use, so... Victoria's Flight, this is only the second one of these I've got, um, but it's just not very popular as an item. Hey, Torchoke Step, we were saying something about that being rubbish. Victoria's Flight, we're starting to see them again. Uh, March of the Legion again, with uh, no real good implicits. So that's not a good set of boots in general, but it does have some corner cases that are good. And again, we're getting all the good explicits on them, but uh, not in conjunction with that plus two plus two to something like Pyroclast Mines that we're looking to that we're hoping to see. And these three go in the marginal section of the ones that are not rubbish, but that are not great. And then we have some sandals. Uh, Wake of Destruction is rubbish, those Implicits are rubbish, that set of boots is rubbish. Uh, Wonder Trap plus... No, there's no synergy between those mods, so that's trash. Victoria's Flight again, we're starting to get them again. Uh, this is one of those things you notice with how people tend to generally think that... Um, like, people tend to just not expect randomness to work the way it does. Uh, that is unfortunately complete garbage. And that's a gold worm, but with bad mods on it, so that's nothing good. Nothing to write home about. Anyways, uh, that is the extent of what we've got here. Let's just recap the good stuff. So we have this March of the Legion that is really in a weird spot. This is not good in the current state of the game. Yes, it can give you a level, uh, it can give you a level 29 Skitterbots, but that's not particularly useful. What we're looking for here is some future minion that is also an aura. If that ever exists, a gem with both of those, then this might suddenly kick in and be valuable. At that point, that would be in standard, but there are players who do sometimes buy an item in standard for purposes of speculation. So that's why I pulled this one out as a, you know, slightly better than the rest of the, of the rest of the items. Rainbow Stride's an inherently fairly high power item, and it's got suppression and life on it, so just excellent implicits on it. Uh, so this is fairly strong. Sintrack here with AoE and Warcry is an oddball case. The use case for this item is the fact that it's got, um, is the fact that if you've got instant Warcry, which you're probably only going to get through the use of a skin of the Lords that puts you in that area of the tree, then in that case, Sintrack will suddenly give you a huge boost to whatever Warcry you're using. And you could actually use Abyssal Cry with it, which is something I was thinking about. So there's a couple of real corner case uses for it where this is going to be really useful. I don't think this will sell, but if someone is playing a build that can use it, then this is going to be the best set of on, uh in the league for them, so they're going to want it. This here, March of the Legion, is interesting. This one has plus seven to the level of certain specific gems, uh, things that are both a projectile and an aura. This is two specific mines, uh, not Stormblast Mine, but the other two. Icicle Mine, Pyroclast Mine. This Dusk Toe is plus four to the level of certain Chaos Dot spells and has that extra Chaos damage on it. It's, it's a maybe. Uh, this Deer Stalker is extraordinary. This is absolutely amazing in the context of a build that is playing Exsanguinate. This is exactly what you want to see on De Deer Stalker. There's no better corruptions you could get, I think, or maybe if there is, it'd be, it'd be pretty rare. I can't think of what the uh, combinations would be for better than that. But yeah, this is an Exsanguinate Trapper set of uh, boots, and this is extraordinary. As well as the fact that people are using Exsanguinate Trap a lot. And this here is very, very niche, but very good in that niche. It has 20% quantity, which is perfect. And it's got the plus four to the level of um, any aura that you put into it. Thanks for tuning in. May your shepherds be wearing interesting sandals, and I'll see you around.